What's up guys, my name is Alex and today we're going to talk about three reasons why it's a good idea to add vocals to your beats and I'm also going to show you my process and how I go about it as well. Let's get straight to it. So the first good reason to add vocals is that it makes it a lot easier to tell if you need more elements on your beats or maybe even less, which actually I found is more common, at least in my case. It just gives you a much clearer picture of how busy the beat actually is when you have vocals on top. And I know it's quite common as producers, we like to add more sounds and it's easy to think that the beat is boring when it doesn't have a lot going on. And it's a trap many of us have fallen into. Some even after 15 years of making music. Anyways, but if you add vocals, it makes the decision a lot easier to make. All right, so reason number two. It's actually pretty helpful when mixing as well, and I'm talking about leveling and panning in particular. For example, you might have a sound that sounds perfect at a certain level when you listen to the beat alone, but when you add the vocals, suddenly you don't hear it anymore, so you have to push it up a bit in volume, or the other way around, it's just way too loud, so you have to bring it down. Maybe the guitar that you had in the center is now clashing with the vocals, so when you pan it hard right or pan it hard left, you suddenly discover that it's actually sent way better in the mix. So this kind of touches the first point again that it's hard to imagine beforehand how everything is going to sound together without the vocals. And now to the third and final reason, arrangements. Some of you might have your go-to patterns and you don't see this as a problem, but it can still spark some ideas for new ones in the future, or you have a hard time getting past the eight bar loop. And in that case, using vocals is a perfect way to build your beat around it because you literally get an arrangement served to you. All you have to do is just structure your beat after the vocals and you're pretty much done. All right, now let me show you my process and how I normally go about this. So I started making this beat right here. Let's have a quick listen. All right, so I got this song ready by Deno called Broken, which I think will be a perfect match for this beat. So all we gotta do is just drag this into la la that AI and just let it do its magic. So once it's finished, you can extract just the vocals, the full instrumental, even the individual instruments. But in our case, we just need the vocals. Let's have a listen to the vocals real quick. No peace, no home, it's broken. The chain you stole, it's frozen. Yeah, we all right, cool. So now we can just download the vocals. Now, before we drag this into our session in Ableton, here's what I normally do. So first, I check the BPM of the original song. So we can see that it's 83 BPM. Our session is in 92. Next, I change the BPM of my session to match the song and the acapella. So 83. And now we can drag in our vocals. Then we got to disable the warp mode, if that's enabled already and enable it again and it will lock to the current bpm and now we're set so from here you can just set whatever bpm you want to your session and the vocals will follow so let's up our tempo to 93 bpm all right so now let's just place this in the correct place no peace no home it's broken all right so now it's in place but it's completely off key but if we just pitch this up one semitone we should be good so let's try this out now no peace no home it's broken the chain is stole frozen yeah we came from the blocks and the six on the snakes and the fakes and the brick phones i went to school with him now he's got a head all right cool so that sounds dope now we got this guitar part at the end i just want to see that it works out on that part as well so let's do that let's just move this a little bit so we can have vocals playing so many siblings in the yard my mom was working hard so i'm gonna be the one to have a shine like a star uh, to have a shine like a star Maybe if we move this a little bit to the left. Alright, so now let's check the beat without the vocals just to make sure that it still sounds good. All right, it's still hitting, no doubt. That's basically it. Use it as a reference and a helping tool when making your beats. It's not something I do on every beat or every mix, but I use it a lot, and especially when I'm a little bit uncertain about certain things, or I just feel like it's a really good beat and I just need to test it. All right, guys, I hope you found this useful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and stay creative.